Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I'm just going to talk. That's all I'm going to do. Just talk. And I'd like you, first of all, to get yourself comfortable sitting, maybe in a reclining chair that supports your body or lying in bed. And give yourself permission to, I don't know, relax for a certain period of time, for the duration of the recording, maybe. That's up to you. Uh, if you need to be somewhere, then you can set your alarm so that if you was to fall asleep, you could wake up and get on with your day and just, you know, whatever. Of course, you may be listening to this because you are wishing to relax deeply. So maybe there's some anxiety there and you just want to let go. You just want to let go of any stress or tension in your body or maybe in your mind or perhaps both. Of course, you may wish to just drift off to sleep and almost bypass the uh, the point where you listen to me. <laughs> you might just want to just almost ignore, ignore my voice. But you can do that and it's fine. But you will still hear the words. You will still hear my voice. It might, it might almost become like a mumble to you as your mind starts to drift and explore, um, you know, dreaming kind of ideas. And that's a natural thing to happen anyway, is when you start to drift and your mind drifts and you, it's almost like an idea catches your mind and you go along with that idea for a little while. It's almost like you're swimming with a bunch of fish and you're just following them. And then you remember that you're not a fish <laughs> And you come back and you hear my voice again and you're like, oh, okay. That was strange. I drifted off there, but now I'm back. And then you hear my voice and I'm continuing to blah, 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 blah. And you, you, he's like, okay, fair enough. What is he saying? And, and then you find yourself, especially if you're tired or if you enjoyed that experience of drifting off. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be with some fish. I mean, it could have been any, any kind of daydream. And you just find yourself drifting again. And you start to notice that actually you're enjoying that feeling. You're enjoying that, that release. It's almost like an out of body experience where you no longer, uh, you don't feel any tension or stress, it's gone, uh, like instantly, as you drift along in your mind. So, you know, with a relaxation session, it might be a, a gradual process of releasing tension from the various muscles of your body in a systematic and almost regimental way so that you you know before you even start that you will begin to feel more relaxed both physically and emotionally and your mind will slow down and that chitter chatter and maybe that sometimes overbearing uh, splurge of thoughts that we sometimes have in our minds can almost start to 
disappear. Uh, I like the analogy of, you know, you've got your mind and you've got a window either side of your mind. Like your mind is a hall, a very, very huge hall, a big room, like the biggest room in the world. But you've got windows, big, massive windows either side and maybe, you know, dotted around the room and you open all the windows. So all these thoughts that are coming in are just going straight out the, the other window on the other side of the room. It, it reminds me of a little bit when I was a kid and uh, a common phrase that was said is uh, when people, adults would say, oh, I tell Jason something and it goes in one ear and out of the other. And it's quite a funny physical um, visual, really, when you think about it, something just going straight through your head and just, not registering. Um, and it was quite a good analogy for me, really. Still is sometimes. But when those thoughts come in and they just go straight out of the window, the next window, they kind of just stop entering because another thing I, I like to think of it is kind of like spring cleaning. You know that the idea of just having a good old clean of your home, uh, and it's kind of like a tradition in, in my country when come like March, April time, uh, you see a lot of people and their, their curtains will be down. It's not that I spend a lot of time looking into people's windows. It's just, you notice it. There's a lot of people that have, they're washing their curtains and maybe they're watch, washing their linen, um, Again, I don't spend time in people's gardens looking at their clothesline. But it's, it, you know, there's, there's like that kind of tradition in this country. And I quite like to do that, to have all the windows open and to let all the air in when I can. You know, as soon as it's warm enough to be able to do that, it's a nice feeling just to let the air just come all the way through. <sighs> And I live in the countryside, so it's quite a nice, the, the oxygen level I think is fairly good where I am. I hope, yeah, I hope so. It seems to be fairly good. Although I do live near a motorway and a very busy road and there's a train track up the road. So those two things probably, um, those three things aren't great for the oxygen because I, I literally, I live in a, uh, on an estate and it's in the middle of nowhere surrounded by countryside but there is a really busy road just across the park and it leads to the motorway in you, as you know motorways it's 24 hours of traffic and it's stories like that where if you're listening to go to sleep you are probably already drifted off you drifted somewhere. You might not be asleep. And me mentioning it might have brought you back. Might have brought you back to being aware of where you are. And like, the thing about that is, and this is from my own experience, is sometimes I drift off so often and I'm kind of got, it starts off with, like a higher percentage of my thoughts and my thinking and my awareness is in the now, is in the being awake. But the more I drift, the higher percentage seems to move into the state of unconscious, deep relaxation and uh, sleepiness to the point where I don't know what percentage it is, but it's definitely, it's over the 50% mark. And I then start to struggle to, to make sense of kind of what's going on. Not, not in a bad way, but in a way of, um, I'm just so relaxed. I'm so tired and I'm kind of semi aware. I have a bit of a semi thing going on and I'm kind of a, a aware 
and I might have drifted and then I've come back for maybe the 12th time and I've kind of come back out of that driftingness. But I was enjoying that, whether it was uh, thinking about something, whether it's a dream, a daydream, maybe it was really moving into like a normal dream, which would then me, well, mean I was asleep. And I'd be almost, you know, maybe 60% in that drifting and 40% alert. And I know I've done this so many times where I'll be lying there and I'll actually be thinking about the drifting and kind kind of trying to consciously make sense of what I was dreaming trying to make sense of the drifting dreaminess that state of not being asleep but kind of moving in and out of that level of consciousness what are you talking about Jason it's fine I, I understand and it starts to get a little bit confusing and it starts to, my mind just eventually just gives up trying to figure out whether I'm awake or I'm asleep. And I just give into it because the, at that point, when you're feeling completely relaxed physically, you're feeling comfortable. Um, you know, you've got your mind and you've got all the windows open in your mind and the thoughts are just basically drifting away. You know, they're not, they can't take, they can't do anything because they're not able to stick around. So your mind slows down to the point where it actually feels like there's no activity in your mind. And of course there is, there's meant to, our brains are continuously working for us 24 hours a day, but everything slows down and that process of the brain and the mind, those processes don't need your conscious awareness because everything that's being done is Outside of your awareness, you know, the breathing, the, the healing. So when you fall asleep or well, 24 hours a day, your body is healing itself. And all those natural, um, things that happen, your heart, your lungs, all your body's just working perfectly because your brain, your mind is doing that for you. So you don't need to do anything for that to happen. It all happens naturally because that's what your mind does. That's your mind's job is to keep you healthy and to keep you well and to keep you safe, which allows you to let go of any concerns that you may have had previously to pressing the play button on this recording and you could just let go really just uh, I mean you might have already noticed or not noticed depending upon how you're feeling but you may have noticed that actually there's a part of you that really doesn't care anymore about anything and it's not a negative not caring, it's a positive, it's a letting go. It's the feeling that we go on holiday for. To be able to relax and to not think about anything. The stuff that perhaps we normally think about. You know, even the small stuff, just let it all go. We're having a break. We're having a holiday from that stuff. And there's a nice feeling connected to that because 
you realize that actually while you're lying there or sitting in your chair with your eyes closed, whether you're just relaxing and enjoying feeling deeply relaxed uh, more with every second that passes, or if you were drifting or have even fallen into a sleep, a deep healing sleep, nothing else is needed. Nothing's needed at all. You have everything you require. Everything that you need is there. And there's a nice feeling, you know, connected with that assurance that you're safe, that you are secure, that you are being supported by your own body and mind. And you don't need anything extra because every single thing you need is within you. Not just for this process, this current process of relaxing deeply all the muscles of your body, your spine, your skin, all your organs. Not just relaxing your mind so all the thoughts have just pretty much slow down to nothing. But also knowing that the same processes continue when you're asleep and they continue when you wake up. They continue when you're doing whatever you're doing during the day and the night. So you can actually have more of a sense of confidence in yourself. More of a sense of trust that everything is working for you. You're your own cheerleader. In fact, you're your biggest and your best cheerleader that anyone could ever have. You're on your own side. You wish the best for yourself. And once you wrap your mind around that idea, even if you're asleep, that idea is, is there. Because I've mentioned it, it's there. And the idea that you can actually feel confident in your own abilities to move forward in life and to feel more relaxed more of the time when needed and to know that your body and your mind is here to protect you to look out for you when whether you're awake or asleep 24 hours a day, every second of your life, your body and your mind is there in your corner. Cheering you on, wanting you to do the best that you can do. Wanting you to be healthy and happy. And when you realize, you really realize that everything you need is within you really can relax and let go. So very completely. Like in a, on a, a different level of relaxation. Maybe the level of comfort becomes so deep that it may even surprise you just how relaxed you start to feel I mean, you may even have been lying or sitting there thinking you're feeling so relaxed. But now, as I count down from 10 to 1, notice how much more relaxed you feel once you acknowledge and you allow your body and mind to do what it does best, and that is protect you. Now, just notice. Ten. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 